Welcome to the Origin Summer Preview with the Dice Tower. In this series, we look at recently released and upcoming games for summer 2014. And now, recorded live at Origins 2014, here's your host, Eric Summerer. Welcome back to the Origins Summer Preview. I'm Eric Summerer. I'm here with Keith from Yellow Games, and we are looking at Shinobi Wata. Wata, best game name ever, I think. <laughs> And we have sort of two zones on the table here. Why, why is that? The game comes in two distinct playable sections. The grasshopper stage, which is very basic, played with the cards you have here. Or you can play the grandmaster mode afterwards, taking your scores from that and transitioning into a completely different game gameplay uh, uh, mechanism. All right, so this is the grasshopper mode. What do we do? Grasshopper mode, you're looking to recruit different clans to support you in your power to become the new emperor. There are ten different clans, each with varying powers. In addition to that, you have Ronin, which are clanless, can help support clans, but of themselves do not have a clan. And okay. then you also have Yokai, which are the ghosts, uh, the spirits of the spiritual world in uh, Japanese mythology. All they right. have various powers and are very, very strong. You're going to be dealt a hand of cards, and your goal is to play four clans down. Uh, once you do that, you've ended the round and scoring takes place. Okay. On your turn, you're going to start by drawing. You can be honorable and draw one card to add to your hand. All right. Or you could be a bit dishonorable, corrupting. Take one card, look at its number. That is your corruption number. That said two. Okay. And then you take the two cards plus an additional two, and those cards go into your hand. All so right. if you're starting to run low, you may have to succumb to being just a bit corrupt. And the more corruption you take, the more cards you get. Exactly. Okay. So on your turn, you're going to look and play two to four cards of a particular clan. You can only play one clan down. If you play two cards, there's a, a power associated with two cards. It may be take one card back into your hand. If you play three or four cards down, you get an enhanced power, which mm. may say take an entire clan back into your hand. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, usually better to try to get to the three if you can, but the essence is to get four clans down. So if it's with twos, that still works. Right. Yeah. All right. As people start playing stuff down, these things really start to affect each other. And people can gang up. You're welcome to make packs and alliances or break them uh, in your quest to get the four down and score the most points. Okay. Whoever scores the most points wins in the grasshopper venue. All right. So now that you've scored points in the grasshopper mode, Let's move over to the master mode. Exactly. So your points determine how many of these little power tokens you get. They're and shurikens. I love these. These are lovely little wooden shurikens. A winning player of that hand will get four. Next player might get three or two. Depending on the number of players, you okay. get a different decreasing value. Uh, we will have played three hands of this, and so we'll have accumulated a fair S number of Several of, of these, shurikens. okay. Yes. There's different ways uh, that you can play those shurikens, but your main goal is to defeat one of the five bosses. There's five bosses, and they have a ranking point value scale. Randomly, one is going to be assigned to be the boss that you're going to have to beat, but okay. you have no idea what it is. Right. Three of the others are placed here. Those are ones that you can peek at just as a game of deduction where you know that's not the boss. I know that's not the big boss. Right, okay. and then one is just taken out of play. So you so never know for you sure know who you're up sure. against. Okay. Exactly. So uh, the person who has won the hand is the start player, and they can place one or more, depending on the space, on the board, determining what they want to do. For instance, on this one, I can play one and take a power card. This is the Emperor's Palace, and you get special powers for being there. Okay. I'd also get 10 bonus points All right. for being here. If I played over here, and I played two, I'd be able to peek at one of these. Okay. If I only played one, that's just worth a safe 10. Uh, this area here is for the loser of the round. They automatically get uh, a minor power card. Okay. So just to help them along for the fact that they yep. didn't win. Yep. As we go around, we keep placing, peaking, and at the end, you're possibly wanting to have a fair number of tokens on uh, the master, the final boss that you have to fight. That will get flipped up, and depending on how many of the shurikens you have on there, you're going to score a certain number of points. So for instance, here I had one on there, I would score 50 points, 
If I had two, it would still be 50 points, but okay. you know, if I had zero, it would have been zero. There's ones that are negative, or half negative, half positive, ah. so putting you, them on there is not assured. So you really right. have to use your deduction. You and really want to try and aim for the sweet spot of that particular boss. Right. Okay. You All go right. through that, tally your scores. The winner of that is the winner of Shinobi Wata. Wow. You do it even better. You've been practicing. I have been practicing. Where are we on, on distribution? When's release for Shinobi? This Wata. one just came out a month ago, so okay. it's hitting stores right now. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you join us for the rest of our summer preview videos. We'd like to thank Gamma and Origins for making these videos possible. And we hope that all of you have fun gaming. See you next time.